Not only text or linguistic information can be extracted from auditory or visual signals, but also the emotion of the user can be extracted from them. And this is the task of emotion recognition. Actually, there exist several classifications of emotions. The most basic one is the one from Ekman and Friesen and Scherer, which differ differentiate between boredom or surprise, fear, disgust, anger, joy and sadness as basic emotions which humans are able to show. These emotions are transmitted through different channels, mainly the visual channel, the facial expression, the auditory channel, mainly including the prosody, that is the uh, movement of the pitch and the energy and the duration of the speech signals. And they also show it in a physiological way, which is mostly disregarded or has been disregarded in the past, but becomes more and more important with the availability of sensors in order to sense these physiological signals. We will now, in the following, concentrate on the visual and the auditory features which can be used in order to recognize emotions. Here you see an example of uh, the pitch frequency, that is the fundamental frequency or the perception of the fundamental frequency of the voice. Um, for the different classes of emotions are uh, extracted uh, from a corpus of relevant speech uh, and separated into happy, sad, angry, dislike, surprise and fear emotions. And you see that the pitch alone helps a little bit to classify, for example, happy emotions show this lower pitch here, sad emotions show this higher pitch here, but there is a lot of overlap between the classes. So you can imagine that the pitch frequency alone is not sufficient for exactly, undoubtfully, classify emotions. You can take uh, other information, for example, visual information. Uh, as we see here, um, here we have the distance to the eyes and we have once again the six basic emotions here and you say that some of them are, can be differentiated on the basis of this parameter and some others can't. So apparently it's good to combine audio and visual information and it seems that audio and visual information is not equally relevant for all types of emotions. Actually Results from the experiments by the Silva et al. show that there are video dominated emotions like anger, happiness and surprise. And there are others which you can better extract from the audio signal like sadness and fear. And there are some which are illustrated in both types of signals like dislike. So apparently it's good to combine video information with audio information in order to uh, classify speech uh, classify emotions. Um, the way this can be handled is the same as we have seen for audiovisual speech recognition. So we can perform a feature fusion by connecting the audio features to the video features and then using one classifier only or the decision fusion or probability fusion where we take individual classifiers for the audio features first, for the video features, and then integrate that information into one uh, recognized emotion in the end. 